getting a handle on bias, variables, and the mean. Question number 7 to 11 You're interested in the percentage of female versus male shoppers at a department store. So one Saturday morning, you place data collectors at each of the store's four entrances for three hours, and you have them record how many men and women enter the store during that time. Question 7. Why can collecting data at the store on one Saturday morning for three hours cause bias in the data? Choice are it assumes that Saturday shoppers represent the whole population of people who shop at the store during the week. Choice B it assumes that the same percentage of female shoppers shop on Saturday mornings as any other time or day of the week. Choice C perhaps couples are more likely to shop together on Saturday mornings than during the rest of the week, bringing the percentage of males and females closer than during other times of the week. Choice D the subjects in the study were not selected at random. Choice A all of these choices are true. Answer 7 choice E. All of these choices are true. Explanation bias is systematic favoritism in the data. You want to get data that represents all customers at the store. No matter what day or what time they shop. Whether they shop in couples or alone. And so on. You can't assume that the people who shopped during those three hours on that Saturday morning are representative of the store's total clientele. This sample wasn't drawn randomly. Everyone who walked in was counted. Question 8. Because a variable is a characteristic of each individual on which data is collected, which of the following are variables in this study? Choice A. The day you chose to collect data choice B. The store you chose to observe choice C. The gender of each shopper who comes in during the time period choice D. The number of men entering the store during the time period choice E. Choices, C, and D. Answer 8 correct choices E which is choices, C, and D. The gender of each shopper who comes in during the time period. The number of men entering the store during the time period. A variable is a characteristic or measurement on which data is collected and whose result can change from one individual to the next. That means gender is a variable, and the number of men entering the store is also a variable. The day you collect data in the store you observe are just part of the design of your study and were determined beforehand. Question 9. In this study, which is a categorical variable, and which is a quantitative variable? Question 10. Which chart or graph would be appropriate to display the proportion of males versus females among the shoppers? A. A bar graph. B. A time plot. C. A pie chart. D. Choices. A. And. C. A. Choices. A. B. And. C. Question 11. How would you calculate the mean number of shoppers per hour? Answer 9. In this study gender is a categorical variable and number of shoppers is a quantitative variable. Explanation Gender is a categorical variable, the categories are male or female, and number of shoppers is a quantitative variable, because it represents a count. The day you collect data in the store you observe are just part of the design of your study and were determined beforehand. Answer 10D choices, R, and, C, A bar graph, a pie chart. Gender is a categorical variable. So both bar graphs and pie charts are appropriate to display the proportion of males versus females among the shoppers. You could use a time plot only if you knew how many males and how many females were in the store at each individual time period. Answer 11 Add together the total shoppers from each observer and divide this total by 3. The mean number of shoppers per hour is calculated by dividing the total number of shoppers, found by adding together the total from each observer and dividing by the number of hours 3.